BW may become president and resign after one year if things get worse, that he frees. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. That he frees has taken to his verified social media platform, Facebook, to make some claims concerning the presidential ambition of the former Anambra State Governor, Peter B. That if he said Peter B is so sincere that the things that if things do not go his way, he may back out. In his words, Peter B may become president and resign after one year if things get worse. He added, Peter B is someone that is very simple and accountable. According to Daddy Freeze, among all present top presidential aspirants, Peter B stands out because of the economic mindset he has. He said, although I want a youth as the press president, but when we have no strong youthful candidate, we are left with no other choice. Dear respected audience, do you think Peter B stands a chance of winning the presidential election under the Labour Party? See, eh? Let's deal with what Daddy Freeze said. Daddy Freeze came out to say Peter B might come out to resign. And it is true. First, see, I have said it before that this thing going on now in Nigeria, both economically, security-wise, and in other sectors, eh? if you have somebody who really, really, really came in with a mindset to serve Nigeria, he's not going to be happy sitting down there. He's not going to be happy going on tour saying he's going for medical treatment, always getting out of the country with every, mm -hmm. every given opportunity. No, he's not going to be doing that. In fact, I even went as far as, you see the security own. He will say he cannot stand, he cannot stand and he will resign. And his name will be written in gold that, look, this man has tried his best and he resigned. But what did he do? He sat down there and his body language is like he does not care anymore. Maybe that is not what is going on in his mind because sometimes things are not always at the same. Nobody should come from you. <laughs> but the thing is, his body language, if you look at the body language world, you will see that this thing, this man is not making any effort. Are we talking about the Abuja to Kaduna trained victims when it comes to security-wise? Are we talking about the Deborah's incident? Are we talking about um, what's, the, what's the most recent one? You know, a whole lot of issues that, issues that, okay, you have tried and tried your best. I mean, even both the ones that, okay, they have suggested and suggested and you refuse to take suggestions. So the thing is, yes, true, true. Peter B might come into the system and it might look like, oh, more, this thing no work, oh. This thing done to Dabaru, I no go feed Dwan. The guy go resign. To be very sincere with you, he's going to come out and say, CEO, I know that I promised you this, but things are not the way I think they should be. Mm -hmm. And things have not been going on. I am telling you, the man, will, the man will not want, because he will not be able to stand or keep sitting down and watch people like, no, no. He get, the man get conscience. Sincerely, that the freeze for this one, eh? Sincerely, you talk true. I know that the free is fine, but see for this one, the guy talk true. Pakam. The guy talk true. Pakam. That is just you. The thing is, those who are coming outside to say, oh, they want to vote for Peter B. Peter B is their man. Anywhere he go, I'm only saying that each every one of them should get a PVC and not just get a PVC. Vote for him. You feel he's the change he will bring to Nigeria vote for because I know Nigerians. Everybody will come now, oh Peter B, oh Peter B. When it comes to that election day, you're not gonna see anybody for 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 polling boots. I'll be mean, waiting the column. Yes, you will not see any of them there. So the thing is, yes, Nigerians, we have not seen this kind of politics before. A politician that is a little bit sincere. So the thing is, he's kind of He's really, really, when it comes to this thing, um, you know, him wanting to do what he says he will do, or him saying, oh, I will do this thing, oh, the guy go on do him. And if he no can see him do, Kai, he will not be able to stay. Sitting down there means, I said I'll do this and I'll do it. Yes, to me. That is why everybody is coming out to call out, but if Buhari don't resign since the day, I'm telling you, people go down say, no, this man, for him to resign, that means he cannot bear it. Even me, I follow Tokam. So yes, it's true. But Peter will be winning, no. It depends on us. Make nobody ask me because I cannot speak for everyone. I can only speak for myself. No matter how we talk this thing, we can only speak for ourselves. A lot of people might call me, oh, Peter will be, Peter will be, and at the end of the day, they will not go and they will not get a PVC. They will give you one story or the other. It is left for us now. It is our decision. 
If we want to make it happen, we can make it happen. We can prove to these people that see structure or no structure, money or no money. We don't need your money. The thing is, will everybody think in that direction? The economy is so, so stiffening. As in, they don't use the economy, wipe some people cord for neck. Where we say some people that manages to feed two times a day, they feed only once a day. Some that feed once a day, they now take gala and pure water. Or bread and water. Sincerely. That is how it is now. To the extent that any any person will show face now for their location, say, ah, vote for me, and gives them like a, a, a what they call one mudu or two mudu or maybe five mudu of rice and five such as tomato paste and you know some things that to go with rice or more or monga they town they go yes the en economic situation right now is so bad that anybody where you give something you go take the grace of God for that person to reject them all hi except me I'm saying you can still collect to now our property especially if the person now uh, former um former what's it called this a uh, recycled politician these people now have money they just collect her me i go collect it i go collect it who can eat so the thing is whether it is going to be possible that peter b will be present it decides it 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 is our hands let us now now decide that see you and no one played it politics because since we i'm asking this question for eight years let me not even say for eight years because the election i one day then do them for for let's say, let's say for, for more than 16 years now, you have been collecting money and been voting for people, those that you collected money for, or you have been voting for party, what changes have you seen? The same story where we say your mama tell you, now the same story where you tell Nigeria will go better one day. I, know, I don't want to believe that we want to give the same story to our children or our children's children. Let us be the change we seek. Let us be the change we seek. Let us come out and mass and vote for what we believe in for the first time. For the first time, without money, without um, food, without them convincing us, let us come out and vote for someone because that person that is not sharing money would definitely know that, ah, this will give me the mandate to, I need to deliver. I've said it several before. For somebody who is giving mandates and somebody who takes the mandate by force, the difference is always clear. The person who is giving the mandate by the people, he's going to come in and do things that will make the people's mind cooler. He go do things that will make people's mind totally. You understand? Sorry, people mind. But somebody who took the mandate by force, maybe his godfather maneuvered his way into whatever. He's going to come and do his godfather's bidding. Or oh, his money's bidding. Nigerians choose wisely. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.